Welcome, Wolf of Wolfettes! We are back with Far Cry Primal on the PS4. Right, now what we are going to be doing today is I've travelled down to the south a little bit and before I started recording, I decided I was going to look around for some south stone because with a bit of south stone and a piece of rare south stone, you can upgrade your spear to the next level. So I've gone around, gathered up the stuff and I'm going to upgrade it in a minute so you guys can see. So uh, whilst I'm down here, I thought... What might as well, whilst we're down here, we might as well go and do Jamer the Hunter's mission. Join Jamer's Hunters to take down a mighty mammoth. Now this mission is very easy and it's probably only going to take us about 5 minutes, it's not that bad. And then once we've done her mission, I think we might head over here and meet Erky the Thinker. Now Erky, oh, he, he is amazing, he is definitely my favourite character in this game. <laughs> but okay, let's get on with it. Right, I'm going to uh, quickly upgrade my spear before we do anything. Oh, cool, I can upgrade a few things. I can even upgrade my bow. Right, we're definitely going to go with a spear. Oh, we can upgrade the club as well. Okay, we're upgrade upgrade the club as well. Lovely. Now, uh, the club is pretty good. I mean, I don't mind using the club. It's just every single time I seem to use the club and get close to anybody, I seem to just end up getting my ass kicked with the spear. Because it's long, you've got a bit of distance between you and the enemy. So it's a, it's a lot more useful using a spear. And it just seems to do so much more damage. Right, I'm going to get my bow out. I'm going to make a couple of arrows. Oh yeah, I also took the talent that allows you to build four arrows for the price of one. So I did that as well. And this is what our spear looks like now. Very pointy and very jaggedy. <laughs> jaggedy. Right. I'm going to grab some wood quickly because we did waste quite a bit of wood in the last few videos because I kept, I kept on having to rebuild my spears. Oh. Oh no. Oh no, that's not good. We don't want to go we don't want to go playing with a saber-toothed tiger. Not in not in the night. Not in the night. <laughs> now uh, I will let you know there is currently people once again doing uh, work in my next door neighbor's garden. I'm going to try my best to ignore it because uh, so far about six of my videos, in my opinion, have been spoiled thanks to the noise. But I'm going to try my best to ignore it for you, Wolf, wolf Pack. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to get on with this and have some fun. I'll say that, but it's probably going to take about five seconds for me to get really angry. <laughs> I don't mind people making noise, you know. Actually, I do, mind, I do mind people making noise. I've got very sensitive ears for some reason. I say any little noise seems to drive me absolutely insane. I used to have uh, pet budgies when I was younger. I actually had, uh, I think I had about five budgies, which are little birds if you don't know what they are. Or budgery guards if you want to call them their full name. And um, I'm just going to sleep whilst I uh, whilst I talk because it's getting scary at night. And uh, I mean, I love my budgies. They were, they were brilliant pets. But one of them, appropriately, he was named Tweety. He would just tweet non-stop for no fucking reason. I mean, this bird... He loved the sound of his own voice. He just tweeted 24-7. And oh, when I used to play World of Warcraft, my PC used to be down in the same room as my budgies. And when he used to tweet when I was playing, it would it would near enough make me... Oh, I would get so... The, the anger. I reckon if you put me in a boxing match after I listened to my birds tweet for a little while, I would I'd one hit KO anybody. I'd probably beat Mike Tyson. That's how angry I'd get. <laughs> but oh, I'll tell you. My birds were insane. I did love them though. Unfortunately, they're all dead now. I, I actually, Tweety actually survived for 18 years. Now, that is old for a budgie. I think their uh, life is about 27 years if you're lucky, maybe. But uh, yeah, he lived to 18. He had a good life. He made uh, three sets of kids in his lifetime. You know, he spent every day tweeting at me. He was a great bird. He was a really great bird. Shame I didn't get any videos of him. Okay, join Jamer's hunters to take down a mighty mammoth. When your hunters are close. Okay, now, are they going to appear on the map or do I have to track them? Oh, okay. I think what we're going to have to do, maybe I'll do this off camera, but I think I might have to go for a spot of hunting. Because uh, after the last three episodes going pretty badly, I did use up a lot of meat and a lot of my... Uh, a lot of my hide as well. So we're going to need to hunt some animals and get some more hide and meat for our healing and for our weapon crafting. But I'll probably do this off camera. Oh, 
Now, uh, this is a rhino, a woolly rhino. I don't know if we've met any of these yet, but they are right arseholes. They're very aggressive, and they like to charge at you and nearly kill you in one hit. I think there's a couple of upgrades we need that involve their skin. So, uh, we're going to take this rhino down. It's very easy if you've got a saber tooth, but if you do bring a wolf or something like that, they do get their ass kicked pretty easy. There we go. I mean, with our double upgraded spears, you know, it's not going to be too bad. <laughs> Where'd the other one go? I really, I mean, I, I do like this new camera stand that I've bought, but because of the positioning of it, it seems to block even more of the screen than my other one did. And that's not good. That is not good, because I'm not sure how many spears I've got left. I keep having to do this. Oh, that's the thing, though. When you kill the uh, animals in this game, or the people, you want to try and have them... You want to have them die in a position where you can reclaim all of your spears. It's like if you throw, like, I don't know, five spears at a mammoth, and then he falls onto the side where all the spears are, you won't be able to get any of them back. But if he falls the opposite way, then you'll be able to get all your spears back, probably. So it, it is a pain. It's all about luck, really. Reach the Wenger hunting ground. Now, as you can see on the map, there's a shit ton of Wenger guys here. Oh, yeah. I mean... Instead of hunting mammoths, how about we have a fucking rave? Or actually, you know, this is pretty uh, pretty decent looking. We could turn this into a mosh pit. If you guys don't know what a mosh pit is, it's pretty much you put on, you all get into the middle of this like hole or a ring. You put on some badass music that makes you angry because a lot of music does seem to make humans angry and you beat the shit out of each other. <laughs> Just that's all you do. That's what a mosh pit is. You're literally beating the shit out of each other. Takar, the mammoth is close. Lead her here. Then we hunt together. Now, by hunt together, I think what you guys mean is all of you guys are going to sit up there along these uh, little like walkways that you've built whilst I stand down here on my own and have the bloody elephant trying to kill me. This end, the elephant does seem to have a lot more health than they do in the wild because I think what we're going to do is we're going to escort a, a bull mammoth over here and it seems to take a lot more hits than what they take in the wild. Because I could kill one with probably five spears in the head, maybe. Where this one, this one will take everything. Hundred arrows, fucking all of it. Right, we're going to get our bow out. Because I don't want to go too far down there. Have we got the correct bow? No. We want our long bow. The long bow takes longer to draw back. But it uh, has a lot more damage. And a, better, a lot better range. A lot better for headshots, really. I need to get back into my headshot stride because the other the other few videos I've been really doing badly. I do apologise for how the videos have been on this channel, Wolf Wolfettes, uh, for the last few days and that. Like I said, I recorded a lot of videos in one day and I pretty much picked the worst day ever. Oh, I didn't like that. I hope I can get a few free shots. I mean, it's good enough. I'm going to have to fight him anyway. Okay, that was too long. We took too long. Oh no. Oh no, he's coming! Oh! Oh, help! Oh, he's right on my ass. Ivy's biting him. Ivy don't give a shit. Help! Please! Please help! Oh, he's gonna fucking bite me. Not bite me, trunk me. I don't know if Ivy's alive or dead. Now, uh, one thing you do want to do is keep your weapon on fire, because you can set this git on fire. You shoot him right in his rectum like that, and it'll burn him as well, hopefully. There you go. Hopefully he dies a bit quick. Oh. Oh, God. All you want to do is you want to kite him around. Oh, shit. Around this little, uh, like, monument in the middle. Oh, shit. I just down. I mean, he does seem to be attacking the other people. It's a lot more different. Oh, shit. I've got two bows equipped for some reason. What are you doing, Takar? What are you playing at, you son of a bitch? Do I want that? No, no, no. We want this bow. And we want this spear. Oh, right in the fucking lip. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. <laughs> oh, help. Oh, actually, if I remember correctly, I think there might be like piles of spears hanging around and you can like pick them up. I'm not sure. I might be wrong. No, it doesn't look like there is. Oh, we got it! Oh, look at that! Right in the eyeball, nearly! What a shot! I'm an arsehole for doing it, but what a shot! I am sorry. Oh, Ivy! Oh, no! Poor little bear. And poor little saber-toothed cat. Not bear. <laughs> of 
called her a bloody bear. Oh, it looks like one of my spears might have broke. Come here, let's give you some dindins. You did very well, I mean, I'm pretty sure in this situation I wouldn't... Oh, she's, she's nomming on one of my tribe members. What are you doing, Ivy? What, what the fuck? That's our teammate. No, Ivy, they're on our fucking team. What are you doing? No, stop it. It's a bad cat. It's a really bad cat. God. Right, let's skin this big mammoth if we can. I think we can. Did you skin it? No, you just sort of fell down. Four meat, some animal fat, two mammoth skins, two animal hide. Now, if you was upgraded quite a lot, you would get a shit ton more supplies than that. Right, let's build some more spears. I uh, See what I mean? That only took... Yeah, I think it took about 10 minutes, and if you take away the time it took me to walk here, it didn't really take that long. Right, so what we're going to do now, now we've done that. Oh, oh, we've got enough supplies to uh, upgrade Sailor's Hut. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to head over towards Erky the Thinker. So we're going to fast travel here. I suppose we should probably take over that outpost whilst we're there. It is a bit better. I'm not sure if this works like like many of the other games, because as you guys know, when you play a lot of these games that have got like rival clans and stuff, normally when you take over their areas, less of that team will appear and more of your own team will appear. A bit like in Saints Row 3, I think, when you take over areas and that, you will, you will see a lot less of the gang, because I remember back in Saints Row 3, one of the trophies I forgot to do was taunting enemies before killing them. And uh, I pretty much had cleared out the entire game and there was no, there was not a single, uh, not a single enemy gangster in the whole game left. So I had to search all online to find out where uh, where they spawn when you took over the entire map. And I think somebody said that there was like a random free uh, like a random free gangsters that you can find in this one location and they respawn every like 40-ish minutes. And I went there and checked and he was right. So whoever that person is, you're the best. <laughs> but hopefully this is like that. Oh, oh go on Jaguar, eat him! Oh, there's some more... There's some more rhinos there. Is that rhinos? I think it was a rhino. Oh! See what I mean? They hit really hard! Finally. No, he's still not dead. What the hell? Leave me alone. There we go. We got it. God, he took a lot. He took a lot to go down. I think we, I think we lost more than we gained on that, to be honest. Yeah, we lost a few spears. All oh, right, we're pretty close to the outpost. At least the uh, rhino ran the way that we were going. I'm not sure if I just heard a snake then. I think a snake might have just tried to bite our ankle, which is not good. <laughs> That's not good at all. Right, we're going to take over this outpost, and then we will uh, go and see Erky. Ah, here we go. Now, uh, if you remember, back when I was doing one of the quests, I think it might have been for uh, Woga to um, climb up those mountains and get some feathers. I said about there being like little symbols that you have to smash on the side of mountains. There's one on this mountain. I can't actually see it because it's too bright. But uh, if you look on the map, if you can see that little blue triangle, if you look on the side of the cliff, there'll be a little mask that you can destroy. And it counts as a collectible. So make sure you find it and smash it. For some reason, it's really bright at the moment, so I can't see it. Because you're going to need to... Uh, I think you need to find 80 collectibles or something like that for the trophy. So if you're going for it, make sure you do it. Because that counts. Okay. Like, we're going to be right in the heart of the base now. So we're going to have to be quick. The second we come up here, we're probably going to get spotted. Let's use our owl. We haven't used the owl for a while, have we? Right, let's take this dude out if it'll let us. Oh, this might be... 
Right, we're gonna need to be quick because that dude's gonna run to the uh, run to the um, beacon now. Oh, come on, how did you call for help? Quick, Ivy, quick, eat. And go kick someone's ass. Don't just stand here staring at me all cutely. Oh, right in the tit. Oh, right in the nipple. I'm sorry, my dear, I didn't mean to do that. I know women have got pretty sensitive boobs, so uh, I suppose that really fucking hurt. I'm dead. I can't heal. For some reason, Ivy's being really shit. <laughs> what are you doing, Ivy? Oh, fucking. Ivy, you are the biggest kill stealer I've ever met. I suppose I should throw this spear more, but I don't want to risk losing them all. I do a lot more damage like this anyway. And plus, I get to aim right at their face. Because uh, most of these guys in this game seem to be like Neo, and they just randomly dodge your attacks. I don't know who hit me then. But they've got a shot like Legolas, whoever they are. Oh. Boom! Right, now that they've called for help, there's a good chance we're going to have to go exploring for someone now who's going to be hidden. Because uh, sometimes the troops don't always come over and they just like stay in random places. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was alright then. Boom! I don't think we're going to have enough time to do Erky the Finker's mission. We might have to wait until next time, unfortunately. Because this took a bit longer than I thought it was going to. Too much travelling, as always. I, I forgot that we could ride Ivy. Shit, I forgot about that. God damn it. We could have rode there. It would have been a lot quicker. Oh, well, never mind. Right, let's uh, grab some of these flowers. Let's grab a bit of wood. Ah, oh, there we go. I suppose we can head over there. We might have enough time. Yeah, he is pretty close by. Here you go, Ivy. Have some dindins, you cute little baby. We need to start using some of my other pets. We haven't used uh, Lola much. But Lola, Lola is best for hunting, to be honest. If you want to hunt in this game, I recommend you should probably go and get a Jaguar. Because they seem they're the best. They're really quick. But if you're sending them after something like a mammoth or a, uh, a rhino, there's a good chance they're going to die quickly. Because they're quite fragile, but very quick. So if you want to hunt something down that's fast, like deers and that, then uh, get your Jaguar out. But if you're going to go for the uh, tough prey, it's probably best to get Diego, the saber tooth, or just a normal saber tooth like Ivy. Fuzzle is pretty good. The black lion, he's pretty decent. And wolves, unfortunately, are not too good. They're good at stealth and that for sneaking, but other than that, they're not too good. Unfortunately, and it hurts me to say that because uh, as you probably have guessed I do love wolves. Oh Oh, it's a white. Oh, okay. It's a white lion. I thought it was a white saber too. I was gonna say I've never seen that before Oh, Erky, 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 you are a boss. I suppose we could talk to him before I end the video. We'll just do his mission next time. Let's do this. Help Erky learn to fly. <laughs> oh, this guy's brilliant. Winja. Go shall we war her? Erky Yishwada Kwati Patashta. Ooh, Herky Yishwada Kwati Patashta! Winja. Ooh, Ooh, Apatash, Fu Pausi Khan! Ooh, Apatash! Erky, shall we wapatash walla deuce deuce? Urki San Patra. San Patra? San Patra! Ta. Ta boo boo to koala. Ta boo boo to koala. Urki Sakwi. 
Urki said we have Patra Daha. To Urki Pat Dash. To Urki Pat Dash. Ooh, 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 ooh. Urki said we have Patra Daha. To Urki Pat Dash. To Urki Pat Dash. Carl, we have some really random missions in this game, don't we? Fly like a bird, I wanna fly away. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna end the video now, Wolf Wolfettes. Next episode, we're gonna help Erky fly. Like, share, and join the pack today. Oh!